Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mbak and I welcome you to our treatment video of mastering a Flutter user interfaces. In our today's video, we are going to uh, proceed with, from where we stopped at in the previous uh, lecture and today we are going to see how we can create uh, different clones of different chat systems. So, in what we're going to do today, let me first make sure that our counter is counting because we always do 40 minutes. Okay, let me start our counter so it has started counting. So, in what we're going to do today, we're going to design a uh, very interesting thing. We're going to design the chatting systems or the clones of existing chatting system. So, we're going to design a Telegram user interface of how... Okay, just we're going to design uh, an, an interface for a Telegram chatting system or a clone of a telegram uh, chatting system so this is what we're going to do by the end of this video we should be able to achieve this we shall also go ahead and design the whatsapp chatting system or the ui for a whatsapp chatting system then uh, we shall you see so we'll be able to send a message like this one and then uh, we we'll populate a reply like that we'll also go ahead and design a facebook messenger chatting system like this one okay so by the end of this video we should be able to achieve uh, something like this we shall also go ahead and design a blackberry messenger chatting system or a user interface for blackberry messenger or a clone for a blackberry messenger so you can use this uh, chatting system of course for the experience and also maybe in your applications in future when you want to make it an application that has a chatting system you can uh, as well code it on your own so with that much said we are going to go straight into our today's business and begin by creating a what a telegram uh, user interface or a chatting system clone for what for a telegrams app so let's go ahead and begin by running our application so i'll come to the application that we always use to practice with and then run it Alright, so after doing that, I'm going to open, I'm going to, as this the application is compiling, I'm going to create a, a new section where I'm going to put the charts. So I'll come here to the screen and create a new directory that I'm going to call chat. Okay. So in this directory, I'm going to begin by putting uh, the telegram chat. Okay. So, but before we go into that, let's go ahead and, re okay, let's create a telegram chat. Okay. So right click here and then come and say new file and then we are going to say telegram telegram screen dot that like this okay so here we're going to create a stateful widget for the telegram screen so i just simply say stateful widget and then i say telegram screen then i go ahead and uh, remove this then i import the material uh, library or package okay so everything is there so we're going to link this telegram screen with our main route so someone should be able to click on uh, telegram screen and then they go there so we shall come to our main route which is there this file and then we're going to duplicate this one and then put here telegram screen and then here put here telegram okay so i'll go ahead and import this screen Okay, so on top there, I'm going to create another section that I'm going to call chats. Okay, like this chat. All right, so in there, I'm going to get this telegram and then we're going to put it here as chat. Okay, so under chat, you'll have telegram. So you can put here maybe a relevant icon of chat like this. All right, so we have telegram so if someone clicks here he should be taken this fresh screen that you've created for telegram so if i click here i'm taken to the screen of what of telegram here so it is a black screen there is nothing right now okay so we're going to begin uh, step by step and see um, how we are going to design a telegram what a telegram screen good so let me come to my code because I already created it. And then we'll start straight away the journey. 
All right, so the first thing we're going to begin, we're going to begin, of course, by returning the scaffold. So I'll come here, go to telegram screen, this one here, I remove the placeholder and return the what? The scaffold. And then when I save like that, everything should be white. All right, so after returning the scaffold, uh, the next thing I'm going to begin by adding the background of the telegram. Okay, this background color of telegram. So I'll come here in our scaffold, we'll put the background color of the telegram. And I save. So I'll have that beautiful color of what? Of telegram that you're seeing there. Uh, then after doing that, then we're going to add our up bar here on top. Okay. So I'll go ahead and say up bar. So I'll come here and give this scaffold an up bar and open and close. Then we'll have uh, that beautiful uh, white in the background. Then this up bar, we are going to give it um, a background color of this. Okay, so you can just pause the video and copy these colors of Telegram. So I'll come and give this up bar the background color of Telegram. Then we'll have that kind of uh, user interface like that. Then after doing that, we are going to give, we are going to make these icons to look white. Okay, so to make those icons look white, you have to pass the system overlay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and say system overlay and then we pass that color. Okay, make them light and then pass that color. So by doing like that, we'll have the, that color. Let me first disable copilot. Okay. So I've made the background, the colors to be light and also the background to be the having that, that, that background color of what? Of uh, telegram. All right. So after doing that, let us go uh to another step so i've changed the color of telegram so the next thing we're going to put the title so in that title it is all going to have this a picture and also the name of the person and also telling whether they are online so let's go ahead and give a uh, the title to this watch to this scaffold and then in the title we are going to uh, pass a row okay so we shall go ahead and pass the row then this row is going to have children okay it's going to have children so we're going to have children and then the first child of this row is going to be this picture the one that you're seeing here so i'll just simply come and copy this circular picture so from the project that i gave you the project that to begin with it will automatically add the what add the picture because it comes with it so that project you go ahead and import this picture and then you put it in this what in this circle image okay and then give it a size of 40. so by doing like that we'll have our picture there the one that you can see here let me zoom in so you can see it clearly you can by the way zoom in zoom in controls all right i hope you can see that eh? so that's what you have been able to achieve right now okay this one here okay so i've been able to achieve this all right so after putting that picture so the next thing that we're going to do we are going to put now uh the width that's going to separate that picture from this okay so we'll go ahead and put the width of 15 so i'll come next to this picture and then in this same row and i put the width of 15 when i save it's going to have that space that's going to spread the content with the width then after i'm going to go ahead and put um the container that is going to have a column and that column will have uh, the name of a person who you're chatting with and then the status whether they're online or not so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and put um the column so go ahead and say column okay and then it's going to begin by having the cross alignment of start okay so come here with the cross alignment of this column to be start all right, so this column is going to have children, okay? So the children of this column are going to be uh, the text, okay? So I'm going to begin by putting there the text. That's going to have the color of white. So I'm going to come here and get the first style of this column on top here and give it a text and then I style it like this. So it is a text which has uh, the style and the color of white. It's just simply is text with that size and then the color of what of white so when i save i'll have that name there like that okay then after doing that the next thing that we're going to do we're going to add the name i mean the status since it's a column we're going to add the status below it 
which is going to be online so it is the same column i can just add the status so we'll just go ahead and give a container which has height of two so it can separate that status from the name and then after we we'll go ahead and put the status of what of online it is nothing but a what but a white text so you can pause the video and you see how i've created that what that white text or you can as well uh, design your own and then make it a white text with a gray of, of 10. so when you save you'll have that beautiful thing of um online all right so after doing that now the next thing that we're going to do is now to add this uh, icon of what of more so that icon of more as i told you it is always in actions okay so i'll go ahead and create actions so i come here and put actions so i'll get out of the app bar here i'll get out of the app bar okay this is the app bar so i can collapse this title let me collapse it so i come back again to the app bar and give what you call actions so action will take an array of widgets so what you want to do right now is to put this uh is to put here what um an icon okay the menu icon so i'll just simply come and say pop-up menu this one here pop-up menu and then we give it a few things we give it the unselected unselected is just a method so you can leave it like that and then you also give it a what the item menu builder so you can post the video and look at this item menu builder and then i come here and put item menu builder so if i save i'll have that icon here so if I want this icon to be white, I can just simply come here and I give what you call icon color and I make it white. Then I'll have a white what? A white icon like that. So I've finished adding uh, this and this and this. So the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to change this arrow. So we'll come to that arrow and you know it is always what you call leading. Okay, so we'll come here and give what you call leading parameter. So this leading, you can go ahead and pass the arrow and then also as well as uh, you can color this arrow by giving it what you call color and make it white. So when you save like this, you'll have uh, such a what? Such a beautiful um, interface, okay, over an app bar. All right, so let me zoom out so you can go back to the normal. Okay, so I hope you're together. So after doing that now, we are going to face now the what? Uh, the body. So I finished the app bar. So the body is going to be just a simple container that is going to have a column of which it will be divided into three. One is the adapter and then another one is the chatting. I mean the bottom thing which has the chatting uh, field. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, put the body. So we can collapse the scarf, I mean the app bar. And then go ahead and give what you call the body. And then you pass the container like that. So this container, we're going to give it width of infinity and height of infinity. So by doing like this, um, we are going to now to do what? um to to go ahead and give now the the expanded so in this expanded it is we're going to have the adapter that will have the what that will have the content okay but before we design the adapter we let us uh let us let us go ahead and design these bottom things and then okay i don't know we should we begin with the adapter <laughs> okay let's begin with the adapter and then we'll finish by these uh ones that are remaining down so now let's let us face and start doing the adapter so i'm going to come here and say expanded so i'm going to say expanded in this column so it's going to have children and then the first child is going to be expanded oh, sorry okay it's going to have a column this container and then it's going to have children so the first child is going to be expanded Okay. and then this expanded is going to have of course a child and this child is going to be now the adapter our adapter of the chatting system okay so go ahead and put that adapter there now i've not created this variable of adapter so that's where now the whole business begins from okay so we need to create the variable of adapter and you see uh what it takes to do it okay 
So if you come here, you'll find uh, we have what you call an adapter. So this adapter is uh, a what? Is uh, a Telegram chat adapter. The one that it's a class of a Telegram chat adapter. The one that, that we're going to create right now. So you can call it that, you can call it any name, but this is just nothing but a what? But the name of the variable. So let's go ahead and uh, create that adapter. So let us begin by creating. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and create the, actual, the, 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 the adapter. So I'll come here on top here in this class. And I say telegram adapter so it is not it is not there yet so it is just uh, the, the class that exists that has does not exist for now okay but we're going to design it we're going to create it okay so um uh i don't know where even to begin from <laughs> we're going to have messages okay we're going to initialize this okay we're going to have the messages so these messages is going to be the the content that we're going to be displaying in the system okay so let us go ahead and create a list of what of uh, messages so this messages is a class that i shared with you in your project okay it's nothing but a what but a class so i'll go ahead and import it so you can go ahead and even create this class let me press control and i click on it so it is nothing but a class which has a an integer of an id and and a string and uh, content and then a boolean or whether it is a message from me or not and then it has a whether it should show time or not so after we have the first construct of this class which is having the integer and then this through the content and then where the message from me and also the date of the of the message and then you initialize them like this and then it has also another constructor called dot time so this dot time message dot time is going to take these parameters so for it, you take the ID, the content, and then the short time, and then the what, the data. So that is uh, our message what, our message model class. You can go ahead and create that model. Let's put the video and create something like this. So after saving that, let me go back now to my Telegram. Okay. Um. So for the items or the message that we're going to display. Now after creating the message, we're going to display. The next thing is to. Uh, create uh, the, 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 the what is to create the 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 the, the toggle button the toggle interface I mean the toggle controller the one that will be showing whether we should show the send or not okay so it can be just a boolean it will be helping us to decide whether you should show send button or not mm -hmm. we create that one after creating that one the next thing we're going to do is um okay so the next thing i'm going to do is uh so i've created these three four variables so uh the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a text controller okay this text controller can come to it later all right so the next thing we're going to do is now to initialize the um, the chatting system okay so to initialize the chatting system is uh just simply come to this init state and then we start adding the items okay the items but this one we can do it later all right let me okay let us, let us we can do this one later let us do this one later all right so now we have a chat telegram here that has not been initialized so we're going to initialize this uh, adapter you know it is still we use the late initializer so let's go ahead and initialize this adapter so to initialize this adapter is uh, we can initialize it in the build so it can always be refreshed at the time so i'll come here in the build here in the build it says this build and then i initialize the what the the adapter oh that's going to connect to the what the telegram with our content so it's going to be a class of uh, telegram adapter the one that i've not created but we're going to create it it will take uh, the context it will take the items the item already there and then it will take the what it will take the on click listener so when someone clicks on an item what do you want to do so you can do that so let's go ahead and create the on click method or function that will pass to this telegram action i mean uh, adapter so uh it's going to be just our simple what a simple method okay 
it's just a simple method called on click that will give an index and then the object that someone has clicked on all right so by doing like this means that we have finished uh, initializing the what the, the, the adapter now let us go ahead and design now the adapter itself okay let us go ahead and design the adapter itself however let us first add some messages so that we should uh, okay I don't know. Let us begin by adding the messages that we should design while we are adding what while we are, while we have some messages to look at. So to add some messages, I'm going to use this initializer to do what to have the messages added to it. Okay, I'll explain how these messages mean. Okay, so I'll come here to init and we override the init state. Okay, like that, and then after writing init state. So after super dot that we, we paste these lines so it is just items dot add so we are adding uh, some messages in this what in this uh, items okay so the first message is um is um uh, this one i it, 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 we are using the construct of times of of message this time and then it is uh, taking the the length how uh, the length of the message and then takes the first message which can be high and then takes the false and then takes the takes the message if it's not equal to zero and then after we import the uh, time formatter from tools so we don't have this time formatter from tools but i'm going to show you how we can design it and then here we format the time to be in mills porch all right so this is nothing but just uh, a conversion of uh, the current time we can pause the video and look at it here okay so let's create this uh, get uh, formatted time event okay so i'm going to create that one so it is just this method let me copy it and i put it here in front so you can just look at it i'll put it here in this class so we don't find it in an external place so it is just uh, get formatted time and then you will call it get formatted time and then we do it and then we implement it like this so for it it will be getting a, a time time stamp and it converts it into what into a formatted time so let's just call this method here instead of calling it on tools so you can remove tools and call it directly because it's not in the same next class in the same class so in simple terms it is just receiving the current time stamp and then it converts it into what into the uh, readable time that someone can understand simply then this one is um getting the what the the width of the message which is a percentage of uh, uh, five my uh, if it's got 10 and then we do what return the value whether it is true or not all right so uh, that is our first message that will show up in the in the what in the chat and then this is the second message that uh, will be like replying the previous one it is almost the same thing so you can pause the video and you see how I can achieve this so here we're just adding in the list of what in the list of items okay so i'll go ahead and save now i'm going to reopen okay i think i cannot reopen okay so after doing that now we're going to get our telegram what our telegram uh, adapter okay i'm going to put a telegram adapter so i can copy this and then come here we have a section of adapters i think it is here you see i'm going to create a new one that i'm going to call the what telegram dot that telegram adapter dot that okay so after doing that we're going to do we're going to create a, a, a what um class okay we're going to create a class okay so this telegram dot that is going to be an external file okay so let's go ahead and create a class so just simply say class and then put telegram okay and then after in the curl bracket for the class so after doing that now the next thing is we are now going to put the constructors uh, that are needed okay so i'll go ahead and do it and import this by pressing alt and enter so it can be important that new class that i just created. so when i import that one you can see this error has done what has reduced so the error that we're remaining with is the creating now the constructor that is going to be receiving this information okay and also creating the game view that it's going to be returning the user interface that one is on the screen 
So I'll go ahead and open this. Okay. So I have to open this adapter. Okay. After opening the adapter, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create our first, uh, our first what, our first uh, required. Let me, let me see. So what is required here first is the adapter, the first, ad I mean the first controller, and also the gate view. Okay. Those are the two things that are uh, not being seen. Okay. So, I mean that are required most in this side. So let's begin by the controller. I mean the constru the control the constructor. Okay, so we are going to have here a list of items that we have to display, and then the building context and the function that will be calling when someone clicks on something. Okay, and then uh, the scroll controller. So you can pause the video and create those variables in your chat Telegram adapter. Okay, so I can come here and open them. So everything is nice so far. Let me import this. So I'll import the messages. Let's go ahead and import um, what? A single scroll. Then after, I'm going to create a constructor that is going to be receiving these items that are not initialized. Okay. So to do that, I'll just simply come here and uh, say contract is taking the content and then the items and then uh, the click. So it means that when someone calls this constructor, it will automatically initialize the items and the and the what and the on click method and also the context that's why you see here it was complaining because they were not initialized but if you do like this it means that as soon as someone sent the data to this constructor or to this class it will first begin by initializing those ones all right so after doing that uh let's go ahead and now uh let's go ahead and now do what uh, what is remaining okay the gate view let us now go ahead and design the gate view so we can see if we can start getting things to appear on our screen. Okay, so this gate view is the one that is going to be responsible now for generating. Uh, 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 for generating the what? The user interface that we want to see on the screen. Okay, so we are going to design. We are going to put this method into our class of what of uh, of Telegram adapter. So just simply come here and put uh, telegram, I mean get view, which is going to be promised to return back the widget. And then put get view. So get view is going to return a builder or list builder that is going to take the items and also the padding of that and then the scroll controller and then the the what the item builder that's going to return now the what the items uh depending on the uh, value that we provided in the list so i can pause the video and look at this okay so i'm going to copy this and then i paste it here okay so after doing that now the next thing we're going to do is now to uh build the view or the view of a single message that was remaining so this list is going to be a builder that is going to be getting a what uh, multiple messages so this one the way you see the build view list is the one that's going to be now the user interface of a certain message so let's go ahead and design that okay so when you come here i'm going to go ahead and build our view or the view that we want to display so we'll come here outside this widget and then create a widget uh, build build list view all right so now here uh, we have to return uh, to return so but before we return i'll first uh, check here something i think if a message is not for me i mean if the message is not for me is for me should be what it should be initialized that as false like that all right so after doing that now let's go ahead and return the single message here that we want to display here 
So we're going to begin by, by returning what we call a wrap so it can spend as minimal space as possible. So we're going to begin by adding what we call um, a wrap. Okay. So come here and say return the wrap. Okay. So after returning the wrap, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and return whether it is me or not. Okay, so if it is me, we'll uh, do what we'll have to make this application the wrap to go to go at the end of the column. If it is not me, it will go to the end of the start. Okay, so I'll do that. Come and put in the wrap. Okay, so after doing that, the next thing is. Is now um, the user interface. So if it is me, what it should show? If it's not me, what it should show? Okay. If it, so, we go we go ahead and begin by putting our card. Okay. So that's going to be our card here. Okay. So the child of this is going to be what the card. Okay, so after this card, we're going to give it um, a border radius of that circular and make it what? Uh, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and design our card. And we give it what? We give it that shape and uh, the circle radius of that. So I'll go ahead and I put the card. All right. So after doing that, now the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and give the margin. Okay. I give the margin. So I'm going to explain how I give the margins. So I check if it is me, I make uh, my margin to be of uh, this. I can pause the video and see it. If it is not me, I make it to be the other way around. Okay. So I can pause the video and understand how I did this one. Okay, what are the margins? Okay. Now after putting the margin, so the next thing is uh, now to put the padding around the card so it can have some space uh, that the text that is not going to touch the what the card itself. So I'll go ahead and put a uh, padding. the child of that card and then after after putting padding so we're going to put the padding of um, symmetric five and then we'll have that let me see if we still have any error we don't have any error so if I save at least it should be able to auto reload so if i come back and then i go back to telegram i see i should be able to see the messages i hope you can see that let me zoom can you see that it is there and uh, there's another one on the other side uh, this one here okay so you have at least two messages there all right so after doing that now let us go ahead and design uh in that then we're going to put here the column because one text is on top of the other so we're going to have the column and then the text next to the other okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'll go ahead and give you the child and we're going to have here column so our first column i mean uh our column uh first is going to have the alignment of end okay so now the first column is going to have uh the text okay the text that i'm going to display which is going to be an sms content okay so you can pause the video and look at it so this is our first content so i'll copy that and then i put it there okay so when i do like that i'll go i'll be able to what to look at the text that's beautiful. 
so you can see we have hi and hello there then after putting the text the next thing i'm going to put a spacer i'm just going to space the text from the content here and then after i go and put the name i mean the time okay so you can pause the video and design the time so since time is going to have uh, uh those blue ticks and gray ticks uh it's going to be a what it's going to be a row and i'm going to explain it okay so the next thing i'm going to put there a row so let me explain things that i've put in this row step by step okay let me just uh, first break them down then i explain them all right so since this row it will have the blue ticks and uh, gray ticks uh so i mean since that text will have gray ticks and blue ticks so what i did i had to convert it to a row so the row it has an alignment of center and then the main axis to be minimum now it has a text so this is the text that is bearing now the time itself which is the date and then it has the text alignment to the end okay and then it has a style okay a text style now in this text style we have uh, I mean it has a text style okay and then this text style we check if it is me remember we have here a variable call is me to check whether it is you who sent that message if it is me you should have this color either otherwise it should have a gray of 400 okay so if it is me you should have that background color and then because we're going to have the background color if the message is not from you then if it is the other way around uh you can do what you can try it so here after 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 this is the the, the content itself or the, the the time itself then after here we have uh, uh the the icons okay so they should show whether the message has been sent or not something like that okay so we check if the if the if the um, if the message is done all i mean if the message is if it is me it should not even show this icon if it is not me it should show this double check or the double tick what the double tick icon because if it is me i don't need to do what to know i mean the message has just come to me so i don't need to know whether the time is there or not so that's why i put here if it is me you should just show the double ticks if it is not me you should show it should not show anything so if i save i'll have uh, that one i hope you can see this I hope you can see this Uh, that 9 p.m. which is in green and then this one which is in gray and that is so beautiful okay so let us uh, do the finishing all right so after putting that so the next thing I think that's all about the widget okay so the next thing is just going to uh, get the count okay be 35 so i mean to be the item that length which you can put here okay it's called get count and then make it be at the length equals to that can put at the very last in case someone wants to know how long the items are all right so we have successfully designed our adapter so if you practice of course you understand how these adapters work okay so i've designed our adapter so i'm going to go back and put that bottom information okay the bottom information so let's go back to our normal class i mean to a normal screen which is this telegram and then the adapter is there now after doing that now we're going to see how we can put now this bottom uh, messaging icon this one here uh, so to do that i'll just simply come and uh, next to expand you know we had an expand widget. Okay, so this is our expanded 
uh, next to it we are going to put now uh, this chatting okay the message okay so it's going to be in a container so after the, the adapter we're going to put the container and then after we are going to put um, the color of the container to be white and then the text should be a line left like this so after doing that now the next is going to be now uh putting there the what uh the row so i'll go ahead because here we need this item to be arranged in the form of a row okay so i'll go ahead and put the row <laughs> time is up but you're about to finish so this container we're going to have a child we give it a row and then after uh we're going to go ahead and give it uh, uh, the button our first button here so it's going to have children and then here yeah, the first thing I'm going to give it a what uh, the button so this button is going to have the icon of what of emoji and give it that color so if I save I should have something beautiful like this one here you can see it here here in bottom this one here for emojis yeah so after doing that now the next thing we're going to add uh, the what extended so it can spend as much more space available as possible and then we put there our text fill in that extended okay so let me do that and explain those things okay so i'll come and paste it's going to have an expanded and this expanded is having a text input and then we have a uh, uh, maximum line one and then minimum line one and then we have a mul it should support multiple lines and then when someone clicks on the i mean it's when the text change when text changes we keep on doing what we keep on um, when when the, uh, so when the text to go is more than one we do what we make the the, the, the show button to do what to be visible okay when the text is what is more than one you see when the text is more than one we make the show button to be visible. if it's not more than one here the show button will not show because you cannot send an empty message all right so after doing that we're going to go ahead and um, and add this icon for the files okay so come here and add the icon for the files so it's going to be expanded and then come here and add the icon for the files like this so i'll have that icon next there however we have here the controller that you have to create the one that's going to be controlling this input but let me first finish this icon so i can save everything at once so there's a controller that's going to be controlling the input so how we have to create it also so i want when someone clicks on this send message you should call this method of sending message let's begin with this controller so this controller is is responsible uh for what uh for converting the text in the in the i mean for handling the text in the in the chat all right so let's just go ahead and define this controller so to define the controller we'll just simply come to public and then create text controller and then initialize it to nothing we just simply come here outside the build not inside the build and say text controller or text editor controller equals to this controller okay and then it means that you can now set it or you can attach it to a certain what to a certain view and then you'll be able to do what to control it okay so i've attached it to this one and then we should be able to control this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and now and now uh work on the send message when someone click on send message what should be done okay so go ahead and create that method you know it is here it has not been created so let me create it create method send message so this method is not going to be responsible for sending messages 
so if I save everything should be all right but there is no logic of typing something and send okay so what we need someone clicks here it should be able to get that data and add it in here and display it all right so to do that we just simply come here and then uh, write this same message so the first thing we'll do is to collect the message itself okay from the controller so you say this controller minus i mean those text it should be able to give us a message so after doing that the next thing we say um show send i mean you clear the controller after collecting the message you clear the controller you clear the controller and then you set the send button to not to to show okay or not to send okay so after doing that we, we set state and then again try to fetch the what the data from the main adapter okay so we just simply say set state all right so after doing after doing set state and then we come here and put adapter dot insert single item you know this method we already created it okay and then you 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 get the item that count okay so you can get the length of item and then you get the message and then you the message the one that you have collected from the form and then you get the date set it to true if it is coming from you and then you divide by you get the code divided by five if it is go to zero in order to stop it and then here you get the time convert the time and then you add that one in what an adapter and then you do what you generate a reply okay so let's first do this so I can close the button and do what I've just explained right now. So I've not created the method of inserting item. So let us go ahead and create it in our adapter. So I'll come back to our telegram adapter and add the method of inserting an item. So this is telegram adapter. We'll go ahead and add the method of inserting item. Okay. So this method, let me go ahead and copy it and then I can I explain it. So this method, what it does, it gets the index or the current length of an item and then go ahead and insert it into the item. So it sets it to be in that position of the item and then after it scrolls, it scrolls. So this is how you scroll. You just simply say scroll con the controller. Remember, you set this controller to, the t to that list to be able to scroll it, and then say dot position dot scroll marks, and then I put this, and then say duration which you take to scroll, and then I put the animation of what of curves dot is out. Okay, so that one then I'll be able to what to enable the scrolling. So I can pause the video and see how you add this method in your what in your controller. I mean in your adapter so after doing that uh, the next thing you're going to do is now to uh, is now to let me remove this thing of tools all right so like this so I should be able to come here and say hello and then I say send you should show hello you see that is beautiful um, Hindo, my name is Mohindo, I sent, you should be able to show us. I love your DP. And I sent, click on send, you should be able to show, I love your DP. So that is uh, very, very nice. All right, so after doing that, then we want to generate the reply, okay? We want to generate the reply. So the logic of generating reply is just a same method, but like same method, but for the, from the side of the user okay so i'll come here to to send message sorry sorry so i'll come here to send message and next tweet i'm going to put um, generate what generate uh, reply okay so in this generate reply we'll first get the timer and put the delay of one second so it should come after the delay of one second and then we say set state and then say adapter dot insert and then we do what we say adapter to get items and then we put here the message remember the message we are going when we're going to call this method we're giving it the message that we want to display and then we say adapter to get count and then we in here so here 
here we are saying true, the message is coming from us. Here we say false, the message is not coming from us. And then you say get items, I mean get uh, formatted items, I mean time. So you should convert our time. Ah, and then you set state after this delay or after that delay that I've set here. So this one will be able to generate our what? Our reply. Uh, so I'll be calling it immediately uh, in this method of sending message. So I'll come and put it here and then save uh, message. What? So I do that and I save. So I'll have when I come here and I say hi, it would leave one second and then it gives me hi as a reply. You see that? That's beautiful. Let me show you. So I come here and say hi. I say my name is Mohindo. When I save to load and then it come here and give this one. So it, after that delay, uh -huh, I put that and then does that one. So that is uh, very, very nice. That is very, very nice. And that is so beautiful. And that's why I'm going to give you what? I'm going to give you a challenge of doing the remaining user interface. It's exactly the same, 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 same logic. Using same adapter, just duplicate the adapter. Make sure first of all you do this what I've just done right now and achieve it. Then uh, you're going to challenge yourself and give yourself the final product project because these are the final videos in mastering user interfaces. So I want you to give yourself a challenge and design a uh, what? A uh, tweet, I mean, sorry, not Twitter. <laughs> and design it, uh, uh, and design what? And design WhatsApp user interface, okay? So you see, it is exactly the same, only that you'll have to put the colors of WhatsApp and everything's almost the same. Just put the colors WhatsApp and then also go ahead and change this one. You see that typing message instead of having it as a flat thing like the way it is here. I want you to use the skill that I've taught you to make it be like this. Okay, to make it be like this. Uh, so challenge yourself and then put this recording button. It might not work, but put that recording button. So let's take that one as your final project. So if you finish it, you can inbox me. Uh, what you are able to do and then I'll know that maybe yeah you did something so go ahead and design this whatsapp interface uh, using the same things and also go ahead and design maybe uh, the blackberry messenger interface it's exactly the same logic but you just change a few things and from that practicing it's when you'll be able to do what to master and say that yes I understood uh, these things and also go ahead and design maybe the Facebook interface you see exactly the same thing but only in this bottom it is changing of which you can also be able to do what uh, to think very creatively and be able to achieve so please go ahead and challenge yourself because I don't want to spoon feed you everything I've shown you how we do telegram so uh, challenge yourself and do for whatsapp pause the video and do for whatsapp and then do also for Facebook as your final project for this course because this is a, a last video for the for what for mastering flutter interfaces so i want you to do uh two either this or facebook or whatsapp it's the same logic but only changing a few things in what in the interface so all right that's it for our today's uh lecture um i wanted us to look at uh, let me see I wanted us to look at uh, other widgets. This about us. All right, this one, I want us to design these things. So maybe let us just go and stop this video and then we start immediately and do these ones and then we call it a uh, course. All right, so there's no break. Let me just stop the video and then we start again and do these ones. But at this moment, I've left you with this challenge. Do it as your final project. Design the WhatsApp user interface and also design the BlackBerry Messenger user interface and also the Facebook user interface. Basing on what I have done, what? On what I've told you. 
or on what I have taught you. Please challenge yourself and show me that uh, you are not sleeping or you have uh, learned something. And do this for your own self. All right. Let's begin another session. This time there's no break. <laughs> Let's begin another session. I'll stop this video and begin another session straight away. I hope I've been recording. <laughs>